everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to talk about importing and exporting with Microsoft Project. And traditionally, you just save the file as an MPP or a Microsoft Project file and you're done. But sometimes when you're talking with other systems, you can take those other systems and export them to XML. And then you've got this file that you can then bring into Microsoft Project. Now, getting that file into Project isn't exactly intuitive, so that's why I made this video. There's two methods. The first method is to use the file menu. So if you look in here, upper left-hand side, we've got file, and we're just gonna go file open and we're gonna browse and look for that particular project file. So let's go ahead and browse here. It's actually showing on the screen behind me, but we'll go in my downloads and we'll go into this project folder. And notice the first thing you see here, there's nothing there. And that's because by default, uh, Microsoft Project is looking for that Microsoft Project that file type, MPP. So we're gonna change this to XML. There's my XML file. I'm gonna double click it. I'm gonna get some options on what to do now that I've done that. We're gonna go ahead and open this as a new project. Sometimes you're gonna have some scheduling conflicts. My advice would be to continue, allow the scheduling conflicts so you don't remove, you don't miss any data. You don't have any data that doesn't come through when you import it. But there it is, there it's all imported. I can see all my tasks and all the durations and start dates and resources that came in there. Um, if you're familiar with ServiceNow, that's actually where I got this file format to show you in this demo. Now, there's a second way to bring in a file into ServiceNow that, or into Microsoft Project that comes from an XML file. So let's go ahead and open up our folder directory and notice I've got this .xml file. Again, it could have come from ServiceNow, it could have come from anywhere else. And I want to open it with another application. I don't see Microsoft Project here. So I'm gonna choose another app and I'm gonna look for Microsoft Project. I don't see it yet. So I'm gonna scroll down after I hit that button and look for it. I don't see it anymore. And then this is where you, you kind of come to a screeching halt. You know, where is this file? I don't know where Microsoft Project lives. So let me show you another trick. Go to your menu, type in project, right click the task menu item and go to open file location. That's gonna tell you where that project file is located. So I'm gonna copy the path to that project file. It's actually a shortcut, not a file. And I'm just gonna put it there and I'm looking for a project. So we'll just go ahead with a uh, project and it's gonna go ahead and open up Microsoft Project. Now it shows in my menu here and I could say always use this. I do other things with XML files, so I don't want project to be the kind of file or application associated with XML files, but you could. Click open, and we're gonna get the same options we saw before. Do I wanna import it as a new project, merge it, append it, whatever, we'll do new, and then bring that in. We'll continue and we'll allow that scheduling conflict. And then once again, there you go, I've got my project with inside. Microsoft Project coming from an XML file um, that you either exported from another system or someone provided you, maybe it's a vendor, a partner, whomever. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, always be learning.